Hey y'all, Natalie here for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And this is my first assignment um, on the design team over at Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I'm really excited to be with you today. I um, am going to do this photo of me and my husband. I'm going to use the Easter egg hunt sequins from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. These sequins, I think, go really perfectly with that collection. So um, I edited my photo to kind of have a little bit of a blue tinge, which was helped out by the neon light that we were posing in front of. And um, yeah, I'm going to go with there. So I'm going to make three shakers today. So I have the um, Folk Edge Circle Die by Pink Fresh Studio. And I have die cut a border in yellow glitter. And I've die cut a full circle of acetate as well as a full circle of white cardstock behind. I've done three of those. And I am using adhesive to adhere the border, the glitter border to the acetate. And then I'm using the Big Mama foam roll to um, pop up that acetate and glitter border. And that will be what I put my sequins into. Now I realized um, like halfway through the first one that I needed to cut the foam tape in half and then I could kind of manipulate it kind of um, like move it a little bit in a circular motion around the frame so I didn't have to make a hundred cuts. Um, so that's just my tip for you there. Um, I went ahead and I took all the backing off first and then I was very careful not to get my sequins stuck to the um, foam tape. I filled the sequins into the shaker, but don't fill it too full because you have to leave room for it to shake. And then I just placed the white cardstock on top of it. Um, so I'm just doing the same here with this last shaker. I've, I've skipped a little bit of it. You don't need to see all of it, but it's the same situation we were just describing, but I'm going to cut the foam tape in half. So I'm making it a little skinnier and then I can kind of bend it around the edge of the circle. Um, so I can make fewer cuts. And then if a little bit is sticking either into the acetate area or off the side, I can just kind of move my scissors and like push it out of the way. I'm going to fill that up with the Easter egg hunt sequin mix and yeah, top it off with the back of my shaker. And now I have three homemade shakers um, for my layout. I think that they are so pretty. I'm just like tucking some of that foam into the circle that was sticking out. So I'm going to kind of arrange them in a um, triangular um, area. And then I'm going to do a mixed media background. So um, I have put clear gesso on my white cardstock. And I have this lemon stamp and I'm going to use an embossing pad from Sizzix and I'm going to just stamp all over the gessoed area um, in the middle in a little bit of a, you know, no rhyme or reason to it. And then I'm going to heat emboss those lemons with some white embossing powder. So that's what I'm doing here. You can see the um, sticky embossing ink that's there before you add the powder on top. And I'm gonna grab a little paintbrush and just get the excess that may be stuck in areas that I don't want to heat emboss that I, that I didn't stamp. I'm going to put the excess powder into um, the container and use my brush also to get any little bits left in that tray out of there. And then I'm going to use my heat gun to heat emboss the lemons. And so this is called um, a, a resist technique. And so what will happen is when I start adding my watercolor onto the background, um, this area of stamping, which is heat emboss, will resist the ink and will remain white. Um, and you'll see the nice lemons in the background. So I have clean water and I'm going to define an area with the clean water before I add my watercolor sprays to it. Oh, I did add a little bit of powdered uh, watercolor as well because um, there's kind of two different blue tones, especially in the sequin mix. It's like a darker turquoise and more of a green turquoise. Um, I'm not really sure. Teal, if you will, maybe. So I have a lot of liquid going on there, but I go ahead and go for it and add in the like more green color of turquoise. Um, so I kind of have like the greener color on the bottom and the bluer color up at the top, but they blend in one another nicely. I'm just um, picking up a lot of that excess liquid there with a dry paper towel. Um, it's going to be a pretty light background. You can kind of see where um, the watercolor is going around in a circle around those um, heat embossed images 
a little bit. So it's kind of a different pattern than would typically happen if I swirled the page. So I'm not gonna do as much swirling here. I'm just gonna let it dry naturally. By that, I mean, obviously using my heat gun. No, I just mean like not um, swirling it as around as much or manipulating it with my brush. Just letting the paint fall where it may. But I am gonna go back in and add a little bit of green, uh, not green, well, a little bit of green because the I'm adding yellow. And so the yellow will um, make a little bit of green with the blue, but I'm mostly trying to keep it from blending with the blue because I want it to say yellow because that is a primary color that is in this collection. Um, I'll take this opportunity to let you know that um, if you mention my name in the comments, I think it's Natalie 15 and you get 15% off your order at Spiegel Mom Straps. Um, I will also link down below um, to either if you're watching this on my channel to Spiegel Mom Scraps or if you're watching this on Spiegel Mom Scraps channel to my channel if you would like to follow along with any of the other videos that I make. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this layout and I was glad that the sequin mix inspired it. So I let that background completely dry and now I'm going to use my small paintbrush to pick up additional watercolor and add splatters because I like to add that additional depth of splatter onto um, a dry watercolor background because I just think it adds a lot of, like I said, depth to um, the look. And so I'm going to go in with the blues and turquoise and then I'm also going to go in with some yellows and I'm going to let the yellow splatter kind of go outside of the um, shape a little bit more to make sure that they stand out because I do like the lemons in this collection. And there's not a lot of yellow sequins in the Easter egg hunt mix. There's more turquoise and blue. So I like to give a few extra pops of those yellows. So there we have the dried background, super beautiful. I'm loving it, loving it. So I um, put some yellow cardstock around my photo and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the shakers on in a visual triangle. And we took this photo at like a local bar on a bar, ni a bar night, a date night that we took. It says this is the life. It's from that Talking Heads song. And so um, it talks about being home with you. And so that's going to be my title as well as going to be home to kind of go with that song. So I'm just throwing the simple vintage lemon um, die cuts on the page, trying to see where exactly I want them. I try to make that large lemon down there work, but it just doesn't work out. I just switch it for a smaller lemon and it worked perfectly. So um, I could put, put a couple of butterflies on there and there's a bee as well. This um, die cut ephemera is just so gorgeous. I actually got this um, bit of ephemera at Scrap It In The City. Um, it's in Knoxville, Tennessee. And I made my husband stop there for me on our way back from a spring break trip in the mountains. And I was not disappointed. <laughs> it's always nice to stop into a in real life scrapbook store if you can. So I switched that lemon out for a smaller one and um, I, that worked really be beautifully. So I have another lemon over there on the right. And I balanced that out with a yellow flower up at the top left. Um, I'm getting out these yellow alphas to make home. I was out of E's, so I turned a B into an E, which um, worked well. It was just fine. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to stick stuff down, so I'm ready to start sticking things down. And um, I use a variety of adhesive here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the foliage um, not stuck down so that I can like pop it up a little bit. And here for the lemons, I wanna stick them up a little bit on top of the shaker. So I use the foam tape um, on the other side that's not going to be on the shaker to make sure that it's kind of balanced out um, and popped up to be at the same level as the shaker since it's overlapping it. And you can get that Big Mama foam tape roll from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store as well as tearaway tape, um, which I haven't used here, but I should have. <laughs> it is a good roll of tape and it's so nice because you don't have to use scissors. Like it says, you just like tear away. And um, I like that. But on the foam tape, you do have to use scissors because obviously it's foam and it's a little thicker. 
So I'm going to um, pop that little butterfly up. I always leave the butterfly wings not adhered down. I'm just showing you how it shakes. <laughs> Sorry about that. It doesn't really work so well when the video is sped up, huh? <laughs> so now I'm going to add the title up there right above the photo. There's just a little bit of space. I don't know why I felt that it was a good idea to start with the O, but I'll pick it up here in a second. Um, and I thought about adding additional sequins around the page, but I felt like it was pretty busy and there was a lot going on. So I did not. However, the light, the, the design is kind of over to the right, right? There's like a lot of, um, empty space on the left. So I decided to grab this lemon paper from my stash. It's the perfect yellow color. And I'm going to use this border punch, um, that is, uh, I think it's EK success and cut this floral border here. And then I'm going to layer that yellow paper behind it. So you just get a pop of that little yellow over there on the left. And I'm really happy with the layer level of detail that this added. It made it, um, I feel like it goes really well with the vintage, um, floral, what's it called? Sample story, simple vintage lemon twist. I felt like it, um, jived really well with that collection so i thank you guys so much for watching like i said mention my name natalie 15 with your order to get 15 percent off and thank you guys so much for watching i'm so glad to be here look at those gorgeous sequins so pretty bye y'all